So uh, here's another update. This this is the third turbine. Uh, it's got a six blade, uh, the six blade Raptor blades from Missouri Wind and Solar, and I have uh, the 500 watt uh, PMA. I wish I'd have got the one kilowatt, but anyways, uh, it's different. And there's the pole that is going to go on. And the mount is different. I didn't go with her mount. I bought this mount a while back, and I like it because it's made on uh, ball bearings. So it's uh, it's much easier uh, for it to turn. I don't have to worry about any wear on it. And that guy is going to go on the roof of the house, just like uh, Jeff has it in his videos for his store. I'm going to put a pro probably put a bank of three or four of those up there, but I'm going to definitely go with uh, one kilowatt units. So that's uh, the update. There's the uh, existing turbines going on. And I'll show you after that third one goes on, there's a fourth turbine going on. That's that 10 kilowatt unit. And there's the blade that I fabricated for it. That's a nine foot across, uh, six bladed design. Uh, extreme amount of energy. I tried it one day and you can hardly stop that thing with your hands. Uh, that's going to have a gearing system, which I'll show you in just a minute how that works. So here's the uh, other turbine motor that I was telling you about. This is a extremely heavy duty motor, as you can see. Uh, weighs about 140 pounds. And this guy uh, has about a one shaft, one inch shaft on it that I'm going to weld this sprocket to it. The blades that you saw, the hub, is going to have this in the back of it. Uh, there's going to be a pillow block. Uh, there's going to be a three quarter inch rod that you see right here. And that guy is going to go through the hub. It's going to rest on pillow blocks. And then this is going to go through that shaft as well. It's going to be a chain drive. Chain is right here underneath this. And that chain drive is going to go from here to the blades rotating. And that's going to give it a four to one ratio. This guy puts out extreme amount of energy, of power, and I'll show you uh, the uh, test that we've done in the power output. It goes up to 240 volts and uh, has some serious amperage. So there's no question in my mind that on the wind that I get here, on a 10 mile an hour wind, uh, 15 mile an hour wind, I'll be able to get at least three to five kilowatts. Uh, so three kilowatts, eight mile an hour, 10 mile an hour, maybe five kilowatts on a 15 to 20. And that motor will go up to 9.3 kilowatts if we need to. So I think that's gonna more than, uh, be more than enough for my needs. Uh, and uh, there's gonna be a special mount that I'm gonna have to fabricate for that and a special tower. And that's another one of the projects that you'll see going on. So that's kind of the, how things are moving and you'll see the rest later on. Thanks and take care.